Hello, it's Barbara Michelle. Today I wanted to share with you this Better Homes and Gardens five ring binder that I turned into a junk journal. It's mostly uh, a recipe type junk journal. I started out by reinforcing the binding on the book because it was splitting down the sides. So I added this lace trim on the front and the back. And I thought the off-white or manila sort of color went really well with the book. Here's an example of a different book I have that I haven't done yet. So it was split kind of like this one. So the book is still together on the inside, but the outside cover was split. So I just added that to hold it together. All right. So at the beginning I added a pocket made with um, a recipe card from Deerberg's. It came in a pack of recipe cards. I did double it up. It's two cards glued together so it's a little bit thicker. And in this pocket I just stuck some goodies. This is some S&H stamps. A vintage recipe on an index card. Um, a piece of paper from, you know, a note-taking type book. I don't know exactly what that was called. And a vintage playing card. This first page is the first page of the book, and it was pretty fragile, very, um, had a lot of wrinkles in it from pages where it had been torn, so I did laminate the, this first page because I wanted to include it in the book. You could kind of see that the picture goes together. Also, this shows the date of the book, 1953. I did also in, laminate the last page not because it needed it, just because I thought it would help protect the rest of the pages in the book. Okay, and I put some hole reinforcers on all the pages from this. I have uh, a few other pages from the original book in here, and the whole portions of them, some of them are ripped. So I just used some ink and inked up some white hole reinforcers and I attached them on both sides. All right, this is some packaging from some farm utility needles. It doesn't really have a recipe theme, but it does go with the style of the book. Here's some vintage notebook paper. This is pattern paper from a paper pad, and I used several sheets from this collection Oh, it's not from a paper pad. It's from just some, a pattern paper pack called Homemade with Love. Um, it's Cartabella. So this really went well with the theme of this book. And I had it in my stash already, so I used several of the pages in this journal. And they are pattern paper. They're more like cardstock weight than their thicker pattern paper. But you could um, use them for scrapbooking, adding photos and stuff, because that's what they're originally intended for. This paper is a magazine page from uh, Women's Day magazine. I don't know the year. I have two of them. And let me show you. Okay, so I have one from February of 1948 and one from July of 1949. So, unfortunately, I don't remember exactly which one this came from, but they're both vintage. And there's a few other sheets in this book as well. This is just some uh, letterhead paper. I got it at an estate sale. It was a box of letterhead. And the top portion was already cut off, so it went well in this journal. It was just almost the right size for the pages of this journal. I did add a little bit of some of that pattern paper that makes us a tuck spot right here. This is just some cardstock with a little lace trim on the side. And I believe all of the tab pages are in this book. I'm pretty sure every one of them are in here. So, a Yahtzee scorecard. This page is from a different recipe book. Oh, uh, and I don't know what I did with that. Hold on. Oh, here we go. Okay. This page is from this All About Home Baking book. 
and it is from 1933. So I have several of these in here as well. I like the size and the color and the age of the paper and it's, it's pretty nice paper. I think it's good quality. So this is from the original book here and as you can see there's the whole reinforcers. Some more of the pattern paper and here I stuck this um, matchbook. I removed the matches from the matchbook and I added just some sheets of paper and I just attached it with a paper clip. As I was removing, I had like 50 mesh books and as I was removing the staples I noticed how, um, oh here's one, here's an original one I haven't done yet it still has the matches inside. Look how tiny that staple is and compared to this staple, this is a Tim Holtz tiny attacher staple. I was wondering did he get the idea for these tiny tiny staples from some matchbooks? Maybe, maybe not. I have no idea. It just reminded me so much of the tiny attachers um, when I was taking them apart. So I stuck this at the top of the page here because it is a little bit thicker on this, you know, this top part. And I wanted it to stick up above the book so that the book pages will still close fairly flat. Okay. So this is um, a writing practice sheet, but it comes from a composition notebook. Another one of the tabs. It's a recipe card, but it's actually a cut apart from that paper, that um, pattern paper pack. Some thick vellum. Another one of the original pages from this book. Here's another sheet of that um, letterhead and here I attached some scraps to make a nice pretty little flag on there. More of that vintage magazine paper. I like the ads. Cardstock. This is lightweight cardstock and it has some lovely trim on the side. Uh -oh. The tab page. This little recipe card comes from a Hershey's thing. This is the book that it came from. So this is from 1976 and it just has a bunch of recipe cards and then some blank ones on the side. After I've used them, or maybe even before, I plan to turn this into a journal too. The cover's really nice. If I take the pockets out, I think it'll have plenty of space there. Or make the pockets flatter. I don't really want to remove them entirely. But anyways, that's where it came from, this little recipe card. There's a few other ins ones in this book. Again, this was from the All About Home Baking book. A page original to this five ring binder. More of the pattern paper. I always forget the name of this. And then here I attached another vintage recipe here, which was sewn on. These are just some vintage little computer printable labels and a tag made from some scrap of the pattern paper. I really like the little lace oh, tag topper. All right, more of that uh, letterhead and I attached the scrapbook paper or the pattern paper here just to make a pocket and inside I stuck another vintage recipe card. Hey, a tab page from the book. A cut apart um, recipe card. Some lined paper. This is an original, original page from the five ring binder. This is also pattern paper. It's from a different paper pad. I don't know exactly. This one actually I think is from a paper pad, one of those ones that you tear apart. But the recipes go with the theme and on the back it's white so that's a lot of writing space. Here's more of the vintage uh, magazine page. And some letterhead. This one has a little tab and makes a nice tuck spot at the top. Let me just grab a little scrap of paper here and tuck things in there. More cardstock, lightweight cardstock with some lovely red trim. The tab page. Another recipe cut apart and a page from the All About Home Baking. This is a page 
to the original book, more pattern paper, and the letterhead. This is a large index card, vintage index card. I love the size of this. I have. I got these at an estate sale. I got a lot of this stuff actually. This book came from an estate sale and the letterhead. Uh, everything except for maybe the pattern paper. It's probably from the estate sale. The pattern paper is just something I bought a while ago. It's in my stash. Um, so this is a pharmacy bag and inside I've tucked just some things. Um, you know, it's this tab from like a telephone book I think. We would write the names and phone numbers. And a small tiny ledger page. Here, this was another cut apart from the paper pad, but on the back there's some lovely journaling space. So it's a journaling card. It's a vintage playing card, but he's like serving some drinks. So that does go with the theme. And this is just a little picture. A picture postcard or a... I don't remember exactly, but they're like souvenir pictures you could get. And they came in a big old, well not big, a tiny little pack of souvenir pictures. This says Music Hall, but I don't know what state it's from. Alright, more of that um, composition notebook writing practice paper. Uh, a small index card. A page from this original book. Pattern paper. The all about home baking paper, or recipes. This is more of the letterhead paper, and I added just some scraps to, you know, make it more decorative. Here is some brown cardstock, and I added a lace trim to make a pocket. Inside the pocket is a flash card and an envelope that's from 1955. It's empty. It's a first day issue envelope, so I think that's important for the stamp. But, you know, when I was researching them, they're not worth a lot of money. So they're just pretty, if you would collect stamps, it's good for you. But, you know, if you wanted to sell them, not that much. And a name and address little spot. Great for journaling. You certainly don't have to put names and addresses on there. Write whatever you like. All right. This is a prospect data card, it says. For more names and addresses and then lots of journaling space. This page is originally from this book, and it is in a little bit bad shape. There was a tear right under here, so I just added this little bit of cardstock to help keep it from tearing more. Another one of those recipe card cut-aparts. Magazine page from the Ladies Woman's Day magazine. Just a little bit thicker cardstock, but not too much. I still think it's I think it's 65 pound cardstock. 65. Yeah, the tab page. This truth or dare card. That's a game. A game card, but I like what it says. It says turn on the radio and dance to the music for 60 seconds. I thought if you come across that and you're feeling feeling like dancing, you might do that. Another page original to this book. Uh, CD index cards for you know if you make your own CDs. That home baking book. More pattern paper with another vintage recipe card sewn on as a pocket. This one is in a different language. I believe it's French. They came from the same house as the other recipe cards. Um, or a couple of the other recipe cards. But she apparently spoke French and English. Some purple labels. Oh, sorry about that. A postcard and another sheet of that yellow stuff but they came from two different packs I don't know if you can see on the video that they're slightly different yellows same house just two different packs same house from the estate sales more cardstock a tab page this is just a flash card a page from this original book, another cut apart recipe thing, some notebook paper, vintage notebook paper from a smaller book, I don't know exactly, some of that letterhead, and here's another tab for a tuck spot, cardstock with some blue ruffle trim, uh, the tab page, 
And apparently there was something glued here before. It's not sticky, but you can kind of maybe see the shine or the discoloration on the book. More cardstock uh, pattern paper. Here's a vintage envelope. And just has a little, like a small, it's not really a postcard, it's just a, a photo in there. It's from Notre Dame. This is coffee dyed composition notebook paper. Oh, okay. Another one of that, it's from that Hershey's pack I showed you at the beginning, but one of the blank cards. Another cut apart recipe card. And a journaling card. And I'm not sure what book this, this comes from a different book, but it's got some recipes in it as well. And it's just attached with the paper clip. Small notebook paper. And this is from this original five ring binder book. Um, pattern paper. Another magazine page. Cardstock. This comes from a journal that I got. It's for you to rate a restaurant. So you go there, the things that you ordered, you rate them, write them down. Notes for a restaurant if you go out to eat. Cardstock or um, pattern paper, a page from the book. More of that letterhead and another one of those restaurant things. <coughs> Excuse me. I believe, actually, I don't know. This is a scorecard or a score page for a card game, but I don't know the game. I'm going to say... Actually, I don't know. And then a little cellophane bag. I did put the whole reinforcers on here just to help the bag, you know, because they're pretty thin. Another uh, vintage recipe. And then this little postcard. I thought it was so cute. Just a postcard. It was a postcard pack about cats. So that's why there's a cat in the photo, but some of them, I mean, some of them were just a photo or a picture of a cat, but a lot of them had people in them too. Um, more of that pattern paper. Uh, that vintage um, home baking book. Cardstock with some blue lace. And another one of those large index cards some music paper. Uh, this is a magazine page and cardstock. That vintage recipe book, a uh, page from this book, this three ring, five ring binder book. A ledger paper from a smaller ledger book. Sorry if you can hear that, my dog's sweating to get in pattern paper, but she'll just have to wait anyway. So more of that ledger paper, and here I just wrapped a piece of card box scrap, so it has a pocket on both sides. Another one of those um, tally cards, recipe page, uh, cardstock, or not cardstock, pattern paper. This is cardstock. And we're almost to the end. Uh, this envelope contains a recipe. It's from Betty Crocker. All right. Some more of that ledger type paper. Pattern paper. This is a thicker cardstock kind. Another envelope. And this one contains a few um, newspaper or possibly magazine vintage recipes. This is from that uh, home baking home baking book and pattern paper. Another piece of that letter head with some trim at the bottom. A vintage file index card for I don't actually know what it's for. Uh, it was for maybe a recipe book. Or another piece of cardstock with some trim on the edge. This came with the book, this little 
thing here. It was usually on the last page, but I made the last page laminated to help protect the other pages. And on the back side, there's another pocket made with um, Schnook's recipe card. Some different sort of stamps. There's top value stamps, stamp book page, a little note, paper, another little note paper. It says from to, and one more vintage playing card. This one has a picture of a house, and it's the ace. All right, thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video.